After exiting Yellowstone National Park and finishing out the Teton Wilderness, we made a quick stop in Du Bois, Wyoming for some town food, a small resupply, and a meet up with a hiker that I hadn't seen since starting the trail, Rad. Before heading into the winds, which for most southbounders was the most highly anticipated section of the trail, we attempted to make another quick stop in Pinedale, Wyoming to celebrate my 36th birthday. Like most of my birthdays on trail, it didn't really go as planned. It took us four hours to hitch from the remote trailhead to Pinedale, and when we arrived, it was 10 p.m., and everything was already closed. The next day, we got up, got something to eat, ran a couple errands in town, and attempted to hitch back, which inevitably took us another four hours. Like I said, it didn't really go as planned. Off and rolling a little later than usual this morning. Uh, we ended up getting back to the trailhead last night at about 9 p.m. And then we ended up hiking three miles. So we didn't really get to uh, fall asleep until about 11 p.m. So because of that, a little bit later of a start. But we basically camped at the base of the entrance or the gateway into the winds and this morning hoo -hoo, has been beautiful so far the last couple of days uh, weren't so great we, we basically wasted 24 hours trying to get in and out of a town <laughs> total but sometimes that happens on a through hike um, i'm just really excited to be into what is said to be the best part of this entire hike so uh yippee um i guess here we go time to see what today has in store Lunchtime and uh, siesta time. Up here at Peak Lake, we just got done climbing uh, a square knob. Is that what it was? Cube top or something. Cube top. <laughs> Some pass. Cube rock pass. Cube rock pass. <laughs> Too many names. Um, <laughs> but hanging out here at Peak Lake. And uh, luckily, Terminator carried out a sun umbrella that she's not using. So... Uh, Get a little bit of shade from the super exposed sun up here at like uh, 10, 11,000 feet. So I'm going to hang out here for a little bit. Um, just got done eating, take a little siesta, and maybe a dip in this like turquoise glacial water. Gorgeous. And uh, then up and over, knapsack cool. Just made it to the top of Knapsack Coal.
Oh, you already know what it is. Good morning. So, yesterday ended up being about a 21, 22 mile day and a brutal day at that. Knapsack coal was no joke. Um, definitely the hardest section of trail that I've done so far out here on the CDT. And right before that, whenever we were taking lunch at that lake, I decided to jump in the lake to cool off a little bit. And I had my sunglasses on and I lost them to the bottom of the lake. <laughs> So, uh, rest in peace to my awesome Tifosi prescription sunglasses. So, um, I don't really know what I'm going to do as far as sunglasses go <laughs> from here on out. Um, but regardless, we had an amazing campsite last night. Uh, it's a beautiful morning. Um, and the winds so far, whoo-hoo, fantastic. Can't complain, aside from the sunglasses thing. So, I um, think we're going to try to put in a little bit bigger of a day than what we did yesterday. Have a couple smaller passes and kind of line ourselves up for the uh, Cirque tomorrow. Um, but yeah, hopefully today isn't as brutal as yesterday was as far as the passes go. You came in focus, of course. You, <laughs> you know it is. <laughs> That's too dark. Damn it. I'm losing light. Yeah, I can't believe I got two chicken tuna. And you could have got the tuna with the, the olive oil in it. Oh, dude, it's fire. Yeah. So, at the end of another day, uh, ended up being like a little over 28 miles, or right at 28 miles, which wasn't bad considering uh, we had like two passes maybe three if you want to count like a couple of these little climbs a pass that was a pass and a half yeah i'd say it's three and a half pass day three and a half easily <laughs> um we got about eight miles until we start the cirque alternate and then uh that's like 21 miles so tomorrow should be a pretty fun day it's supposed to be really beautiful Don't so definitely downs. looking for oh yeah blowdowns too so got that to look forward to so about to eat, crash out, get up, and uh, make our way into the Cirque. A few hours into starting the alternate that morning, the weather quickly turned and we were hit with rain, strong winds, and some pretty heavy thunder. Even though it was a little sketchy going up Texas Pass, as soon as we got over the top, the skies began to clear and we were rewarded for our efforts.
been one hell of a day. Um, it's like almost eight o'clock, I think. No, it's past. And uh, oh, it's past eight o'clock. It's almost eight thirty. It's almost eight thirty. <laughs> and uh, we did three passes today, or I guess technically two passes and one saddle, even though the saddle was bigger than the passes. Regardless, we basically did the entire cirque in uh, in one day. But uh, we still have about mm, I don't know three more miles, so a little bit of night hiking tonight, and uh, yeah gonna get close as close as we can to town and then tomorrow we'll still end up having like 26 27 miles to get into what town are we going to lander lander Lundar. that will be the end of the winds and the end of bear spray and the beginning of the basin so it's been a pretty good day though i was a little exhausted over that last pass but now for some reason i feel like i have my third wind and uh <laughs> um, yeah, Speak yourself. feeling good. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently I'm speaking for myself. <laughs> so, uh, into the night we go. Um.